Hey, I just spent 20 minutes talking to to myself and did I didn't hit the record button. So let me double check. I, I'm recording. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so as I promised, I have uh, another release of uh, free stream notification. And I took two weeks and re-implemented a whole application and make it easier to use. And the uh, application can be run from localhost and from uh, from the server. Currently, I have it deployed on OpenShift. Uh, detailed instruction how to deploy the application will be uh, probably uh, released tomorrow. Right now, I just want to briefly show you uh, the application and uh, release it. Okay, so. Uh, Nothing really changed. You just uh, what changes that uh, you are uh, using Twitch to log into the application. Yeah, this is a bug. I need to fix that. Uh, it should redirect you to the login. So you log in with Twitch, and uh, you receive the token. It will open the dashboard, and after you log in, you can. Uh, configure what you want. I will not go into detail what, what this all is. You can s see this for yourself. I already have PayPal set up on the Twitch followers. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, available pages and let's go copy uh, one. This is the link that will go to the uh, OBS. Right, let's go back. Let's test it. Okay, it works. So as you can see, it's work online and uh, everything works as before. You can switch the position. You can use the transition screen to hide the content yeah so very nice uh, change you don't need to launch it from localhost you just need to deploy it as i said the details will be uh, following uh, right now i i just very tired and uh, it was a lot of work a lot of coding and i just want to release it to, you know, for you guys to to test it uh, you can you can also uh, you can also run the app from from local file system. Let me let me quickly show you. Uh, so application right now is a single jar file. Uh, to run it locally, you also need Mongo dat database. You can Google it and and download it. Uh, so after you let me just. Yeah, after you download it, install it, you need, you need to launch MongoD. You can set it up so that it will uh, run as a Windows service and start automatically with Windows. Uh, I didn't do that. I, I launched it manually. But if you if you want to, you can you can b do that and don't worry about it in the future. So if you start it, uh, it probably will crash. At least mine did. I needed to create the uh, the path to to the database data db folder it for me it was it was here data db uh, but uh, it it's using the uh, uh, the latest version what i noticed it it's using directly path into c drive so we need to create this folder in c drive or uh, in the directory where you install the mongodb so just start it create if it, if it doesn't work create the folder and start it again mine is working and you need to hit start which will uh, launch the fsn jar okay you can see here that it created the uh, database fields and uh, it's running on 8080 8 port we can change that can run it from different port if you want to. Need to type start, but 
and the port let's say this one and it will run on different port okay so but I don't want to do that I want to use the default port okay and now you can uh, launch dashboard and configure the, the application okay and uh, first time launch you will see this screen that means the application is not configured yet and uh, uh, for localhost user the uh, the application uh, you don't need to add and save this field it will be provided automatically uh, here is here are the instructions what you need to do you need to go here this is twitch application registration form you need to provide the name uh, provide the redirection URI. it's it's the it's this one like I said, if you use the uh, default port, uh, you don't need to do this. But if you, for example, change the port, like I did uh, in a minute ago, then you need to register your, your app because you, you are not using the port that I registered with, with localhost. So you will click here, you will go here, write the name, pass the pass to the application like this or like if you have it on, on OpenShift you will pass it like this and hit register after registration is complete you will receive the client ID it's the ID of your application you will go back here pass the client ID mine is already here and you will hit save and now the application is configured to work and it will try to if you hit connect with Twitch you will try to log in with Twitch if you uh, if you are already uh, logged in, in in some other tab or, or browser, it will remember your uh, Twitch login and password. It will basically uh, log in right into the dashboard. Uh, if you not, it will redirect you to Twitch. You will be asked to log in and authenticate the app. So let's hit connect. And like uh, online version, it will show dashboard. It works exactly the same. You will go to. Uh, this is for the. I think I mentioned this. Uh, this is for the uh, saving uh, PayPal uh, notification to file system. If you want to, you can set it up in, in Wizard. Uh, I don't want to, so I will ignore that. So in Wizard there are different fields and like I said I will not go into detail, you can read it uh, in, in the Wizard. Uh, what I'm interested in is, is enabling the Twitch for to show that it, it's working. Available pages, Let, let's copy the LIN1 and let's save the configuration. Okay. Let's disable online. Let's enable offline. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh, I didn't enable it. Okay, one more time. Okay, and it's working. So as you can see, you can run it both ways. Uh, as of the details, I will follow up with another video, but I will probably make it uh, tomorrow because tonight is, is a bit late and uh, I'm very tired so uh, yeah one more thing <coughs> sorry um, because uh, this is running with Twitch uh, you are logging in to the application with Twitch if you are using online version I wouldn't recommend to to share the link to the application because anyone can log into the application uh, each person, person that will log into the application will create uh, fields in database 
and the space in OpenShift is limited so uh, basically I would recommend to use it uh, on your own only and don't share it with your friends or, or, or some, some other people because you will uh, run out of space in OpenShift and uh, you will need to figure out how to clean it up and it's it's yeah, more or less uh, not what you want so that was quick quick info okay so uh, I will follow up with another video and today thank you for watching and see you next time